Good morning. Welcome to St. Mary's Daily Prayer. Today is Monday, December 13th, the Memorial of St. Lucy, Virgin and Martyr. I'm Mary Beth Dumas. Happy to be with you to start our week with our daily prayer. Our readings today are taken from the book of Numbers and the Gospel of Matthew. So let us now begin our celebration in the name of the Father and of the Son and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. And blessed be the God of all consolation, who has shown us his great mercy. Blessed be God forever. And may the glorious intercession of the Virgin and Martyr, Saint Lucy, give us a new heart, we pray, O Lord, so that we may celebrate her heavenly birthday in this present age, and so behold things eternal. Through our Lord Jesus Christ, your Son, who lives and reigns with you, in the unity of the Holy Spirit, God forever and ever. Amen. And a reading from the book of Numbers. When Balaam raised his eyes and saw Israel encamped, tribe by tribe, the Spirit of God came upon him, and he gave voice to his oracle. The utterance of Balaam son of Beor, the utterance of a man whose eye is true, the utterance of one who hears what God says and knows what the Most High knows, of one who sees what the Almighty sees, enraptured and with eyes unveiled. How goodly are your tents, O Jacob, your encampments, O Israel, they are like gardens beside a stream, like the cedars planted by the Lord. His wells shall yield free flowing waters. He shall have the sea within reach. His king shall rise higher and his royalty shall be exalted. Then Balaam gave voice to his oracle, the utterance of Balaam, son of Beor, the utterance of the man whose eye is true, the utterance of one who hears what God says and knows what the Most High knows, one who sees what the Almighty sees, enraptured and with eyes unveiled. I see him, though not now. I behold him, though not near. A star shall advance from Jacob, and a staff shall rise from Israel the word of the Lord. Thanks be to God. And today's responsorial psalm, teach me your ways, O Lord. Teach me your ways, O Lord. Your ways, O Lord, make known to me. Teach me your paths. Guide me in your truth and teach me, for you are God my Savior. Teach me your ways, O Lord. Remember that your compassion, O Lord, and your kindness are from of old. In your kindness, remember me because of your goodness, O Lord. Teach me your ways, O Lord. Good and upright is the Lord. Thus he shows sinners the way. He guides the humble to justice. He teaches the, the humble his way. Teach me your ways, O Lord. And a reading from the Holy Gospel according to Matthew. Glory to you, O Lord. When Jesus had come into the temple area, the chief priests and the elders of the people approached him, and he was teaching and said, By what authority are you doing these things? And who gave you this authority? Jesus said to them in reply, I shall ask you one question. And if you answer it for me, then I shall tell you by what authority I do these things. Where was John's baptism from? Was it of heavenly or of human origin? They discussed this amongst themselves and said, if we say of heavenly origin, he will say to us, then why did you not believe him? But if we say of human origin, we fear the crowd, 
for they all regard John as a prophet. So they said to Jesus in reply, We do not know. He himself said to them, Neither shall I tell you by what authority I do these things. The Gospel of the Lord. Praise to you, Lord Jesus Christ. In just a few moments now in reflection. And let us now bring our cares and concerns to our Heavenly Father. Please respond, Lord, hear our prayer for our call to stewardship that we may use our gifts to benefit those who need our help. We pray to the Lord, Lord, hear our prayer. And for an end to this pandemic, that God will continue to guide and inspire all who work to end this virus and give all of our leaders the wisdom and the courage to make the right decisions we pray to the Lord, Lord, hear our prayer. And for those who are in any way still burdened during these difficult times, that the sick, the lonely, the frontline and essential workers may continue to find peace and comfort. We pray to the Lord, Lord, hear our prayer. And for those who need physical or spiritual healing, that God's gracious spirit will give their bodies and minds comfort and wholeness. We pray to the Lord, Lord, hear our prayer for those who have died, that they may be brought into the eternal peace of God's presence through Jesus, who is the resurrection and the life. We pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. And for our own prayers we hold in the silence of our hearts. We pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. And we ask these prayers through Christ our Lord. Amen. And let us now pray with confidence to the Father in the words that our Savior gave us. Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread and forgive us our trespasses as we forgive those who trespass against us and lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. Amen. And let us pray, God of mercy, we thank you for the gift of your son and the road to redemption paved by his sacrifice through Christ our Lord. Amen. And may the Lord bless us, protect us from all evil, and bring us to everlasting life. Amen. Thank you for joining me for prayer today. I hope you have a very peaceful Monday, a peaceful week, and I'll see you back next Monday for our daily prayer.